Hey guys, Mitch Jalapeno here. So for today's project, we're gonna be applying Cicaflex self-leveling for all the control joints in the garage and also in the driveway. The main reason why you might want to do this is so that not too much moisture gets underneath the slabs. Over time, the concrete slabs are gonna crack just because like I said, all the moisture that gets underneath, especially here in Colorado, where the snow melts in the morning and it gets into the control joints and then at night it freezes up, it creates ice and that's where you start getting a lot of the cracks on the slabs there. But anyways, as you can see here in the driveway, there was a lot of sand, a lot of dirt here in the control joints. The garage was not as messy or dirty, but the garage did have about eighth of an inch cracks in the control joints. And here in the driveway, there's not really any cracks, but I'm still going to apply some Cicaflex to the control joints in the driveway. But I'm only going to use this caulking here inside the garage just to cover those, you know, look at those eighth of an inch cracks there at the bottom of the control joint. And there's different things you can do if the cracks are a little bit bigger. You know, you could put backer rod. It kind of looks like those foam noodles that you go to the pool with. And I've also seen a lot of people use sand. But in this case, I'm using clear caulking. And what I'm trying to do is I'm just trying to create a seal on that crack. That way, when I install the Cicaflex self-leveling, it's not going to seep into the crack. The caulking will help that Cicaflex stay afloat and not go into the crack like I mentioned. Just make sure you don't cut too big of a hole on the tip of the caulking tube there. That way you have a little bit more control on how much product comes out. And then look, see how it kind of self levels a little bit there. Also, just make sure not to put too, too much where it's going to come out of the control joint there. Uh, but look, it's a little bit satisfying to just to kind of watch it self level itself out. But there we go. It should take from four to five hours to be able to drive on it. I think that's what it said in the bottle. But it'll take about 24 hours or a little bit more to cure 100%. So just make sure you wait enough if you're going to epoxy the floor or anything like that. But that's pretty much it. I did Look, I also did the driveway. We didn't apply any caulking to these control joints in the driveway because there wasn't any cracks. We just added the Cicaflex and that's pretty much it. Jalapeno Solutions. Boom.